a dove is sitting on the windowsill. That's unusual. I'm surprised a dove would even be out flying in this snow. What is that? There appears to be something on the poor thing's leg. I wonder what it is. Is something the matter? Uh, no. Jazz will never forget, and he won't ever be able to get over you! Well, it sure took you long enough. What a relief. I'm glad to see that you all got back here safely. it, Reto? Did someone get hurt or something on your way here? Actually... Just terrible. I can hardly believe it. Poor Claves. She must have been struggling with her conscience for a long time because of what she was doing. What about the others? Where are they? Viola went home to set her goats free. After that, she's gonna head for Salsa's house. We weren't sure, but we thought you'd all probably be heading over to Salsa's place. And what about Jazz and Falsetto? Well, actually... Ever since we learned about Clavace's death, we kind of... haven't been able to find Falsetto anywhere. She's gone missing? Yeah. I mean, we tried looking for her all over the place, but she's just nowhere to be found. I don't know. Maybe she feels like she's somehow responsible for Clavace's death. Poor Falsetto. Anyway, when we couldn't find her, Jazz headed for Baroque Castle. He said he needed to talk to someone there. At the castle? I suppose that would most likely be Prince Crescendo. We must have just missed his arrival. Who's Prince Crescendo? Oh, we were fished out of the water by a ship from Baroque. 
It was this really cool ship, and guess who the captain was? The Prince of Baroque himself! Are you kidding me? While we were all miserable trudging through swamps and poisonous forests, you guys were off having fun on a pleasure cruise? Don't think it was all fun and games, Reddo. We had a pretty rough time ourselves, you know. We even had to fight with pirates. Isn't that right, Frederick? Yes. And after the fighting, the prince entrusted us with a message he wanted us to deliver to Jazz. I never would have figured Jazz was the type to have a prince for a friend. But hey, at least this clears up one thing. I guess we know where we're headed to next. Oh, hey, by the way, Beat, where did Polka end up? <laughs> I figured you'd be wondering about her. Well, of course. She's a friend. Polka said that she wanted to make a quick stop in Tenuto so that she could look in on her mother. Okay, then that means we're gonna have to go there and bring her back. Hold on a minute, Reddo. We all agreed that we were gonna meet back here in Retardando. Don't worry, she'll show up here before too long. So instead, why don't we give Frederick a tour of the town while we wait for everyone else to show up? Or maybe there's some reason that you just gotta go see Polka right this very minute, huh? I don't know what the heck you're talking about. Fine, you want a tour guide? Then you got one. Come on, let's get going. people here. Huh? Did something happen? Someone said they heard a strange voice coming from underneath the church. What? Underneath it? Does the church have a basement? Retardando used to get attacked by pirates all the time. They built an underground shelter so they'd have some place to hide in case it happened. Oh, I see. This church is on high ground, and it's quite far from the shore. That makes it an ideal spot for that kind of shelter. Oh, how creepy! The shelter must be infested with some sort of strange creatures! After all, it hasn't been used in ages! No, I'm sure it must be ghosts. The souls of the people who were killed by the pirates have come back to haunt this place. <laughs> Just kidding. Ah, uh, yeah right, give me a break already. I'm sure it's no big deal. It's probably just some rats scratching around or something. Hey, it's you two! Huh? Uh-oh! I know them. These are the brats who've been stealing my bread! What? You're a couple of petty thieves? No, wait. There was a reason we were... Perfect. You have experience with this kind of thing, then. Go investigate that noise. I agree with her. That's right. Since you've done nothing but go around causing trouble for this city, you need to make up for it somehow. You're used to dangerous jobs like this. This doesn't look good. No, Reddo, it'll be okay. Let's just agree to do it. We can always come up with some way out of it later. Yeah, you're right. That's a good idea. Well, what's it gonna be? All right, all right, calm down. We'll check it out. Just hold on for one minute. It's a good thing Polka's not here, huh? She'd have definitely found out about all the bad things we've been doing. There he 
you are, Allegretto. How are you doing? Hey, Salsa. You sound the same as always. When I asked Salsa where everyone was, she said that you were all heading for Retardando. So we came to join you. But then, how'd you know that we were in here? Easy. We saw you just as you were going inside. Well, in that case, perhaps you could all help us out a little bit. Help you? With what? What are you guys trying to do? We're supposed to get rid of the ghosts underneath this place. Hm. It's pretty stupid. What? Ghosts? But ghosts are scary! I really hate ghosts! Ah, so that's why there were so many people standing around outside the church. I'll see you guys later, then. Thanks! Huh? Where are you going now, Riddle? Well, with this many talented people helping out, you don't really need me, do you? That's not fair, Reto. You can't push all the work on us and then just leave. Ah, I know what it is. He's scared of ghosts, so he's running away. Yep, that's right. I've been keeping it a secret, but I'm actually completely terrified of ghosts. See ya, Beat. And hey, good luck. Hey, wait! Excuse me, Allegretto, but what are you going to do now? Once you guys finish up here, we'll be getting on the first ship headed for Baroque tomorrow morning. They opened up the shipping lanes now that the pirates have stopped attacking ships. And as for right now, I'm gonna go get Polka. That way, tomorrow morning, we can all meet up in the harbor. Don't be late. See ya! Hey, that's so not fair! I don't care whether it's ghosts or something else. I don't have time to waste on stuff like that. Okay, it's time to go and get Polka. here oh, it's just a rock it has a really weird shape to it though I guess it must have washed up on shore I'm not much of a rock collector but it really is strange looking hmm maybe I'll show it off to salsa later Well, I'd better hurry up or it's gonna get dark. Stupid Reto. Let's just concentrate on what we need to do and get going. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Let's get this over with. Oh, by the way, are you planning on joining our Endeavor March? Yes, I'll do my best not to get in the way. I hope that's all right. Bringing her along with us is much safer than leaving her in a go-go forest alone. Well, it's good to have you along. At least you're a lot more reliable than Reto. I can't believe he took off and left the work to us. Who knows? Maybe he really was scared of ghosts. <laughs>
nice to meet you. How good you really are. no way for you to stop my relentless advance. My journey continues. Pleased to meet you. The crucial person in all this wasn't the guardian of a go-go forest after all. And to think we almost killed that girl. We're lucky that Fugue and Tuba were so incompetent at their assignments. Or maybe I should say they performed their jobs perfectly. The Agogos only glowed when they were around that girl. If we are to get a hold of them, we'll need to find some way to lure the girl to us. Hmm. In any case, it appears she can use magic, which means that she doesn't have very much time left to live. Rondo, I want you to bring her to me. And you had better do it before she dies. Understood. Locating the trail of one little girl should not be too difficult if I ask in retardando.
dare to turn your sword to me? Right. 